guys, it's Brad from Bushcraft Ridge. Um, got this 100 watt solar panel kit, the Thunderbolt Magnum from Harbor Freight. I think it's regularly um, $199. Uh, if you get the 20% off coupon, you get 20% off, like 40 bucks, so $160. Um, I read a couple of reviews of it online, saw some other people unbox it, figured I've got to do something to get my battery charged, and this was a cheap way that other people have, have liked. So I, it's not the best, but it's not that expensive either. And uh, I think it's going to work better than just bringing the battery back to my house every, every time I go out there and doing this. So we'll just uh, open this up, see what all's in it, and then talk about the plans for it. So it comes with four 25 watt solar panels. And that's going to be these guys. And I will open this all up. I'm not going to make you watch me open it, but I'll, I'll open it and show you what's in here. And then you can also buy, um, you can expand this set because they sell just the 25 watt um, panels also. Here's the owner's manual. And then here's all the stuff that we get with it that is the kit. It's all the stuff you see over here. And I think what I'm going to do is mount these. So it comes with brackets to hook all four of them together. Like you see here. I think I'm going to actually rig it where I mount them on top of the Forerunner. And it'll be like my mobile charging station. So here's the battery charging clips. This is the uh, plug that charges into the controller. Here is the cord. So there are four, uh, only three of them are out there. The fourth. Only three were out. Um, these plug into the solar panels and then this plugs into here and then this plugs into the charge controller or whatever it's whatever it's called and here's the that's the little controller there Oh, and then here are two LED light bulbs. So that's that's actually kind of cool with this. Um, it comes with two direct current LED light bulbs that plug straight into here. So here's where there are little plugs. Uh, I'll do like closer up later. I just wanted to show you guys what all is in this kit, and then. Maybe I'll, I'll go through, however I decide to rig it, then I'll, I'll rig it. But you can see there are USB ports on here. There are DC, direct current outputs here. And then here's the solar input. So this one cord right here, that's where that plugs in. Um, you can, there are some different cycles through here. And then here's where you turn on the lights. And these, uh, plug straight into the DC output. There are actually three of those there. And then down here you have, this is where, so you can, instead of using the solar input, you can um, wire directly in down here. Uh, here's where the, the battery charger cables go, and then you can also wire DC lights directly in down there see there cut like that well that's I mean that's <laughs> for 160 bucks ah, once we get it all rigged up and working I think it'll be pretty good cheap investment um, and then I, like it's a great starter kit that you can add more panels to 
um, 25 watts at a time or buy another kit and have a 200 watt system. So I'm going to actually open one of, I'll open one of the solar panels on here. I just don't want to make this video long and boring because there are plenty of those videos showing this thing online that you can go check out. Just wanted to do a short, oh, my birthday was Monday, August 3rd. So I don't know what I'm gonna get this video up, but today it's Saturday. My, ber my birthday was last Monday, August 3rd. And this is part of my birthday. Um, I also got uh, a better power inverter for the cabin. It's somewhere around here. Actually, I already put it in the 4Runner. Tape down there. All right. Uh, well, that light is on. It must be getting some... Okay. So here is the... That's that connector I was talking about. It connects into the 4. Um, I don't know how many feet of cord this thing comes with. Uh, I'll have to check that out later. But you can see it's 18 volt, 25 watt solar panel. Uh, I'm very close to Nashville, Tennessee, so our um, angle is like 20 degrees. You're supposed to put them at 20 degrees in the summer and 50 degrees in the winter. I think it's your latitude minus for the northern hemisphere. <laughs> your latitude. Latitude or longitude? Oh man, I'm messing this up. Somebody double check me or answer in the comments. It's your, uh, I believe it's your latitude. <laughs> yeah, lateral, latitude, they go around like this. Um, it's your latitude minus 15 degrees in the summer and plus 15 degrees in the winter. Again, Northern Hemisphere, probably reversed for the Southern Hemisphere, I don't know. Uh, but it comes with these brackets. Uh, some people have said they do not like these brackets. I, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna figure out a way. I'm probably not gonna leave them out there. I'm going to rig them on my uh, Forerunner on the top of my Forerunner, and then have that. It'll be my mobile charge station. So, all right, there we go. Let me guys know what. Let me. Ah, that is my like tagline. So I usually say, let me know what you guys think. And <laughs> I always mess it up and my dyslexia comes out and I say, let me guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you on the Ridge.